Good afternoon and welcome to another Roth's weekly ocean conditions update in the Gulf of Mexico for the week of August 12th, 2024. Uh, jumping right into it, conditions have changed a little bit over the past week or two in the northeastern Gulf of Mexico. As we will see here, it had looked like a new loop current eddy was forming in the eastern gulf now uh, it doesn't look so much it, it remains to be seen if this will be pulled down uh, off to the southwest and, and close it off but right now this water is still connected to the loop current uh, circulating clockwise if you look here it's uh, moving up southeast of the mississippi river delta over to tuna mountain 960 hill double nipple off southeastward over DeSoto Canyon uh, and between that water valley and the Lloyds Ridge, uh, pushing really nice water up, being helped by these two little counterclockwise eddies here, south of the steppes in, south westward, south of the delta. A um, lot of rigs, Blind Faith, uh, the Thunder Hawk, uh, the Thunder Horse, um, down towards the dump site all the way up here petronius marlin rings all in blue water um, there have been reports of multiple grand slams uh, sailfish white marlin blue marlin over the past couple of days up there looks really good from the dump site uh, all the way over uh, into the desoto canyon uh, just have to keep in mind there is this uh, little spike of green water uh, moving up here to the northeast so if you get into that you got to either move north into the blue water or southeast into the blue water but other than that uh, looks pretty good in those areas over to the east uh, there is a, a counterclockwise circulation of green water just north of the spur uh, into the DeSoto Canyon a um, little bit of cleaner water coming up here towards the unexploded ordnance and southeast of the nipple uh, over towards the, the squiggles and the wings it is green um, not so good um, south of Cape San Blas a lot of green water moving over up towards this eddy um, blue this green water extends all the way down um, to the west of the box the west of the west of the steps um, being pulled down circulating um, counterclockwise eddy here clockwise eddy here counterclockwise eddy here um, all of these features are helping pull this cleaner blue water in up to the north and northwest, uh, west of Tampa, west of the middle grounds. Um, it only gets to about the, the old uh, Pensacola South Noah buoy in there, and then it starts to blend the blue, green, and green. Um, but there are some, some good conditions uh, in as close as 30 fathoms west of Tampa, um, and then out towards the box and the steps. Um, there is cleaner blue to blended blue water. Looks decent. Um, Moving over to the west, southwest of the dump site, Mississippi Canyon, as you can see here, has a lot of brown to green water on, over it. Doesn't look too good. Um, out towards Green Canyon, there, there's a series of eddies. These are the eddies that have pushed to the east that were screwing up the conditions off of Aransas earlier in the month and, and back in July. Um, they have now moved eastward and conditions out between the Green Canyon and over towards almost the flower gardens uh, do not look so good. Um, there is cleaner water being pulled in up over Green Canyon due to these two eddies here. Um, but if you had a, had a choice to fish southwest of the delta or, or south southeast of the delta, um, we, would, we would probably direct you to the south and southeast of the delta. Um, now, these features move to the east. Um, I had spoken to a couple clients about a month ago telling them uh, as soon as that those features did move further to the east, this has allowed these couple of counterclockwise eddies uh, here uh, out inshore Camel's Head uh, up over Texas Canyon towards Colt 45. Um, these have allowed the bluer water to push way north of the dump site now almost uh, in towards the flower gardens and towards the east breaks and also now southwestward inshore hospital rock aransas aransas bank um, and southwestward over the bank um, there's there's a lot of clean water off of aransas now off of brownsville off of south padre island 
Um, conditions look much better there than they did even two to three weeks ago. Um, that's about it for this week. Uh, keep in mind, uh, coming up in a couple of weeks, we will be closed on Monday uh, for Labor Day. Current hours are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m., Saturday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. When the office is closed, you can always order online 24-7, www.roths.com. Don't forget to follow us on our social media channels uh, for reports uh, and other fishing news at Rolf's Fishing on Facebook and Instagram. That's it for this week. Be safe out there and tight lines. Thank you.